today I'm going to try and make an exterior shower curtain that will uh, encompass my doors so I can just stand in there with the doors open with the shower curtain and do an outside shower with just a you know the typical five gallon hanging shower bag. I'm gonna give it a try and see what happens so I gotta figure out how to make my shower curtain attach and detach simply. Got a couple ideas, we'll see if it works. All right, what I've come up with is a piece of PVC pipe. My door thickness is one inch. This is a two inch piece of PVC. And I've cut a little over an inch out of it so that it will sit right up here. And then what I think I'll do is I'll put snaps on the other side to hold the curtain. So I can unsnap the curtain and then just take this off. It's a snug fit. As you can see, I just cut a, a groove down in it. And it'll be quick on, quick off. Now let me fit the other side. Then we'll cut them to length, and then start putting the, uh, the snaps in there. Okay, here it is roughed in. And as you can see, I'm not worried about the gap up there. I'm not worried about anybody seeing me take a shower, so. But, you know, some people get upset. See, I've just got it uh, clamped up there until I decide where I'm going to put the snaps. And I can put this on from inside the bus. With the doors open, I can just slide it right over. Let's see what we got up here. And of course, I'll be pulling this a little bit tighter. Let's see, I get it over there. So you can see there's plenty of room down in there. I'll hang my bag, shower bag, up right there the inside and that will give me a nice little outdoor shower. I'll uh, come back when I get the snaps and stuff in. Okay as you can see I'm getting the, uh, the snaps in place. I marked them. I uh, used a ice pick to mark the PVC. I'm using a little kit here to put them on. I got one side done and I'm going to switch over and do the other side. Did a little sample to make sure these were going to hold good and tight and they seem to be. I drilled a tiny pilot hole so that there would be lots of pressure on the plastic. And as you can see this is one of the long screws. I'm using the short screws. It feels good and snug. We'll see how it goes over time. So coming over here you can see my outside snaps. Got it on the outside over there. I'm gonna hook up the uh, let the wind go by here. It's getting windy. I'm gonna hook up the uh, shower curtain and let you take a look. All right, snapped into place just like it was made for it. First time I've done any. Snaps, so they came out pretty good. I'm going to take you in, let you see the inside. I may put uh, at least one snap on each side down here. In case the wind's blowing, I can keep one side snapped. Again, I don't care, but you know, some people do. Okay, I'm inside the bus looking at the uh, curtain. Let's see how it comes out. Comes off. Goes all the way to the ground. What I'll do is I'll make a little uh, wooden mat down there, keep my feet off the dirt. Make it out of some one bys tech boards. So that part's done. And what I'm going to do, if I don't fall here, I'll be hanging my bag up to this angle iron right here, and then I can uh, just run a hose down that way. I think it's going to work. And again, just to take it off, all I have to do is reach up and, and pull it off. Put the snaps on, I put the uh, curtain on the two pieces, 
plop them into place. And if I need a little extra, I can push them out. I need a little extra room. I may put a, uh, an inside one here, come around, just to hold that out so the wind doesn't blow it in. Just a little half inch PVC. But I like it. Quick and easy and very lightweight. I just want to show you uh, after I take it down, this is the entire package. Very tiny, doesn't take up much space, very lightweight. Okay, I'm getting ready to make my little pedestal, a little uh, thing that I can stand on when I take my shower. I'm going to be using this uh, treated wood and it will set on the ground just under those doors so I'm not walking on the rocks and the sand when I take a shower. I'll bring you along when I get a few of these cut. They're going to be an inch and a half wide. I'm not sure how many yet, but it's going to be two by three feet overall. All right, as you can see here, I've got uh, my three pieces here. What I did is I took the end pieces and they're rounded off. And then when I cut the ones out of the middle, they're square. I'll, I'll chamfer this a little bit. And then this will be the other side. It will be three, 12 by three, I think it's gonna be plenty big enough. Just so I can stand on it, maybe 14. Depends on what comes out. And this piece that's left over, that will be my riser. And these will go on top of that, like so. So I'm gonna get me off the ground and I'm taking a shower. Found a part of a cedar fence panel, or fence board, that I used to build my gate. So I'm gonna use this as the riser, since I didn't have quite enough of the inch material, and I don't wanna slice up a half a, half a board for just the risers. So this will work out perfect. I have a piece right there in the middle, and I've got all this to make my riser. This thing will be about 14 by 36. So that should give me plenty of, plenty of room to stand on. I have my base built. Now I'm gonna cut these to size. And then this will go on flush here. And one of the square ones. We'll go next until I get all the way across. And then I'll have my uh, shower platform coming together. I should have it before the sun gets to me. <laughs> that shadow is getting closer and closer. Well, actually, the sun edge is getting closer and closer. So I'm trying to get it done before the sun hits because it's going to be hot today, about 90. Got my ends on. Of course, using galvanized screws. And I'll put my insert pieces in there. Got four to go in there. And that'll be my shower platform. Don't need it real wide. I'm not going to be doing a lot of moving in there. Well, little by little, I'm getting there. I'm using my spacer to make them look pretty close. This is nothing fancy. It's functional. That's all I'm worried about. As long as it works. Okay, it's done. Again, to get me up off the dirt, the rocks, and the desert. This little shower platform. Just big enough. Don't need it really big. I'm gonna take it over to the uh, the bus. Let's see if I can put it down right. There we go. And that's where it will be when I take a shower. platform. You can see the end of my things here. The uh, shower curtain comes out about that far more. So that's, that's about perfect. It'll work. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, hang my shower bag. As you can see, I'm going to be hanging it by that uh, handle up there. And it's going to be going right up here. 
be putting a hole in here, a hole in here. And what I'm going to be using is, there we go. I'm going to be using an S hook. And I'm going to be using a, an eyelet, drill a hole. I'm probably going to end up cutting some of this off. I'm not sure just yet until I get up there and see. Marked out. Popping a hole here and a hole here. This is a uh, big piece of metal. It's bolted, it's bolted up. So I can swing on it. So it'll hold 40 pounds of water. And there's nothing back here. And there's nothing back here. So I'm gonna drill the holes. Boy, that's some hard stuff. Drill the pilot hole. And now I'm working on the, the full size hole. That is some hard, hard stuff. But that's okay, that means that uh, it'll hold up. Alright, almost there. Okay, got them in if you can see them. Get some focus here. There we go. Okay, they're in. Hard to see them. And then this hook's going on here. Okay, here's the bag hanging out. I'm going to get a longer uh, hose, and I've got a little sprayer, sink sprayer, and we're pulling the end of it. And that's what it looks like. And the bottom of this is about even. At the top of my head. Tighten that up a little bit up there. So when it's time to take it that down, you just unhook it and leave your, your eyelets up there. So it's quick and easy. And I'm ready to take a shower. <laughs>